Hello my dear children, welcome to Learner's Planet. Children, this is the quiz session about soil. So, we will solve many interesting questions and answers in different pattern. So, be ready for this quiz session. So, we will start with the first activity, fill in the blanks. So, I'll read the question for you and you have to guess the correct answer from the options given in the bracket. So, we'll start with this activity. So, the first one is, Dead remains of plants and animals form dash. So, children, what do they form? Do they form humus or loam? Yes, children, dead remains of plants and animals and what it is? It is dark in color. It is the dark colored substance which is formed from the dead remains of plants and animals. Yes, it is called as humus. So the dark colored substance that is formed from the dead remains of plants and animals is called humus. Alright children, now the next one. Protection of soil is known as dash. So what it is known as? Is it known as soil conservation or soil erosion? Yes children, the protection of soil by different kinds of methods is known as soil conservation. Very good children. Just keep trying like this and you will learn more about soil. Okay children, now the next one. Dash does not hold water. So, what type of soil does not hold water? Is it clay or gravel? Yes children, it's very simple. I'll give you a hint. It is a type of soil that contains tiny particles. Yes children, Yes, you got it right. It is gravel. Gravel does not hold water and it has tiny particles. Alright children, now the next one. We need dash gas to breathe in. Yes children, we living beings and human beings need what kind of gas to breathe in? Which gas is important for us? Is it oxygen or nitrogen? Yes children, very simple. Yes, it is oxygen. Very good children. Just keep trying like this. Dash soil is usually very good for growing plants. Yes children, what kind of soil is usually very good for growing plants? Is it loam soil or clay soil? Yes children, it's very simple. This is the type of soil which is very fertile, which is full of nutrients. And it provides nutrients to the plant so that it can grow very well. So, what kind of soil is it? Yes, it is the loam soil. Loam soil is usually very good for growing plants. Alright children, now the next one. Dash is removed by soil erosion. Yes children. What is removed by soil erosion? Are they clay particles or topsoil? Yes children, what will be the answer? Exactly, yes. The removal of the fertile topsoil is called soil erosion. Right? 
so we can say that top soil which is very fertile is removed by soil erosion all right children now the next one dash is formed when sand mixes with organic matter and minerals so what it is is it soil or land yes children dash is formed when sand mixes with organic matter and minerals yes it is the soil soil is formed when sand mixes with organic matter and minerals all right children and then this soil is very helpful for the growing of plants now next one dash particles are extremely fine particles yes children is it gravel or clay what kind of soil has extremely fine particles yes children i'll give you a hint it is very sticky also the particles are very sticky yes it is the clay the clay particles are extremely fine particles and gravel are very tiny particles all right children i hope you are clear with this activity and now we will move on to the next activity that is multiple choice questions so i'll read the question for you and you have to guess the answer from the given options so the answer will either be a or b or c all right children so just try to think and guess the correct answer you can do it now the first one is soil is formed when sand mixes with organic matter and dash oh the same question we did but it is just twisted in another form yes children what will be the answer you can do this yes children you can do this soil is formed when sand mixes with organic matter and is it a fats or b vitamins or c minerals yes very good it is minerals so c is the correct answer now the next one the dash layer of the earth surface is known as soil is it the top layer or middle layer or the bottom layer yes children what will be the answer yes it is the top layer so a is the correct answer the top layer of the earth surface is known as soil very good now the next one dash produce food so what produce food is it a plants or b animals or c human beings what will be the answer children yes come on guess it it's very simple yes very good plants plants produce food on their own so a is the correct answer and animals cannot prepare the food on their own so they depend upon plants and other animals and human beings depend upon plants and animals all right now the next one there are mainly dash types of soil so children how many types of soil are there yes children they are divided into how many categories is it a 3 or b 5 or c 2 what will be the answer yes very good there are mainly three types of soil now come on name it what will be the three types of soil yes they are sand gravel and clay 
very good now the next one which of the following is a type of soil is it a gravel or b humus or c pebbles yes children we just now discussed the three main types of soil what will be the answer it's very simple yes it is a gravel gravel is a type of soil amongst all three right now the next one which of the following type of soil has gaps between the stones that allow water to pass easily so what kind of soil or what type of soil has gaps between the stones that allow the water to pass easily is it a sand or b gravel yes it is gravel so b is the correct answer yes children gravel is a type of soil that allows the water to pass easily and it has gaps between the stones in the same way sand is also a type of soil that allows the water to pass easily but this kind of soil has particles which are coarse right so whenever you are asked that what kind of soil which has particles which are coarse allows the water to pass then it will be sand but gravel is a type of soil which has gaps between the stones and allows the water to pass all right children and clay is a type of soil which does not allows to the water to pass all right children so is it clear to you okay so we'll move ahead with the next question sand is dash and dry yes children what is the property of sand we studied about this also sand is dash and dry is it light or heavy yes it is light and dry so a is the correct answer now the next one the uppermost layer of the soil is made up of dash and dash so children what it is made up of yes children the uppermost layer of the soil is made up of dash and dash is it a clay and fine sand or b fine sand and humus or c humus and pebbles what will be the answer yes children it's very simple yes children and this layer of soil is also called as top soil it is very fertile and it carries what does it carries what is it consisting of yes the answer is b fine sand and humus so we will write b okay so the uppermost layer of the soil is made up of fine sand and humus and that is why this layer is called as top soil all right children it is made up of fine sand and humus and that is why top soil is very fertile now the next one top soil is very fertile because it is rich in dash oh we just discussed about this now you can definitely answer what will be the answer is it a humus or b clay or c sand what will be the answer children yes it is a that is humus top soil is very fertile because it is rich in humus very good so children do you remember that what is humus 
Yes, it is the dark colored substance formed from the dead remains of plants and animals. Very good. Now the next one. Soil erosion dash when there are strong winds. Yes children. So does the soil erosion increases or it decreases when there are strong winds? What will happen? Yes children we studied about this. We studied all the factors that when does the soil erosion increases? Yes. Soil erosion increases when there are strong winds. So A is the correct answer. And what are the other factors when soil erosion increases? Yes, soil erosion increases when we cut down the trees, when there are strong winds, when it rains very heavily and when we do not grow crops using the correct methods. In rest of the other things or other factors, soil erosion decreases. But in all these three to four factors, soil erosion increases. Alright children? So soil erosion increases when there are strong winds. So I hope you are clear with this activity. Now we'll move on to the next activity that is give one word for the following. So children, I'll read the sentence for you and you have to just guess the correct answer in just one word. Alright, so we'll start with this activity now. The first question goes as the process of soil formation. So what it is called as? The process of soil formation is called as? Yes children, you can answer this. It's very simple. The process of soil formation. Children, it starts from the letter P. What it is called as? Yes, very good. It is called as pedogenesis. P-E-D-O-G-E-N-E-S-I-S. -E -E Always remember that the process of soil formation is called pedogenesis. Alright children, now the next one. Garden soil that consists of clay, sand and humus. So what it is called as? The garden soil that consists of clay, sand and humus. Yes children, it's very fertile and it is very useful for growing crops. Yes, very good. It is the loam soil. Right? So do, have you got it? Okay, now the next one. The layer of the soil made up of fine sand and humus. Oh, we just discussed about it. What it is called as? Yes children, the layer, the uppermost layer of the soil made up of fine sand and humus. Yes, very good. It is called as the top soil. Alright children. So we will write here as top soil. Alright. T O P S O I L. Top soil, which is very fertile. Okay. Now the next one. The process of growing different types of crops on farmland. What it is called as? Yes, children, we studied about this in the lesson. Try to recall it. Yes children, it is the process in which the different types of crops are grown on farmland so that the soil has time to recover the minerals that the previous crop has already used it. Right? So what it is called as? Yes, very good. It is called as crop rotation. Alright children? So always remember about this process that in this process the different types of crops are grown on the farmland. Now the next one. 
the removal of the fertile top soil by the action of wind and water so what is this called as the removal of fertile top soil by the action of wind and water yes very good it is called as soil erosion all right children so because of this what happens yes the plants or the crops are not able to grow all right now the next one the dark colored substance formed from the dead remains of plants and animals yes children we discussed about it many times what is it called as it starts with the letter h what is that dark colored substance called as yes it is humus the dark colored substance formed from the dead remains of plants and animals is called humus now the next one a fine powder obtained by the breaking down of big pieces of rocks into smaller and smaller pieces so what it is called as the big pieces of rocks when they break down into smaller and smaller pieces because of wind and water and after that we get a very fine powder so what is this fine powder called as yes children it's very simple yes it is called sand very good all right so i hope you are clear with this activity also now we'll move on to the next activity that is mark a tick or cross so children i'll read the sentence for you and you have to guess whether the statement is correct or incorrect so we will mark a tick for the correct statement and we'll mark a cross for the incorrect statement all right so we'll start with this activity so the first one is loamy soil is fertile loamy soil means the loam soil all right it is the garden soil that consists of clay sand and humus and this soil is usually very good for growing plants so is this the correct statement yes this is the correct statement so we will mark a tick loamy soil is very fertile and that is why it is very helpful for growing plants now the next one sand is heavy and quite sticky when wet so is this the correct statement is this the kind of soil which is very heavy and very sticky when it is wet no this is the wrong statement it is the clay which is very heavy and sticky when it is wet not the sand all right now the next one water does not flow freely through clay soil so is this the correct statement does the water not easily passes or it does not flow freely through clay soil yes children i'll give you a hint these are the particles which are extremely fine particles yes this is the correct statement very good because clay soil is very heavy and it is very sticky when it is wet and their particles are extremely fine and that is why water does not flow freely through this type of soil all right children now the next one crop rotation should be practiced to protect the soil so is this the correct statement do we use this method or should we use this method to protect the soil yes children you can answer this yes crop rotation because of crop rotation because of this process we are able to keep the soil fertile and that is why it is 
it should be practiced to protect the soil so we should use this process all right so this is the correct statement now the next one gravel is made up of extremely fine particles is this the correct statement is gravel made up of extremely fine particles or is it made up of very tiny particles yes children is it consists of tiny stones right so this is the incorrect statement gravel has tiny stones it is not made up of fine particles all right children now the next one dust is a very fine sand is this the correct one yes this is also correct because dust is very helpful to us it is very helpful to bring us rain to form clouds and it is able to form clouds because it is a very fine sand all right children now the next one if there is no dust there then there would be no rain so is this the correct one i just now discussed about it that dust is very helpful to us right it forms the clouds and if there will be no dust it will not form the clouds and if it will not be able to form the clouds then there will be no rain right so we can say that if there is no dust then there would be no rain so this is also the correct statement now the next one soil erosion increases when we plant more trees so is this the correct statement the soil erosion increases when we plant more trees no this is the wrong statement soil erosion decreases when we plant more trees right because planting more trees is very helpful for us so we should plant more trees rather than cutting the trees because it will increase soil erosion and soil erosion is not good for the growing crops now the next one dams should be built across rivers to stop floods is this the correct one yes we studied about this yes children yes very good is it it is the correct statement dams should be built across the rivers to stop to stop floods right because of this what will happen because of this yes children because of this the water which is flowing at the speed will not be easily taking away the top soil and if there will be top soil it will be able to grow plants right so dams should be built across the rivers to stop floods all right children so i hope you are clear with this activity now we'll move on to the next activity that is match the following so children here you are being given with the two columns column a and column b all right in column a you have been given with the types of soil and these are some properties or characteristics of soil so you will have to match the correct type of soil with its correct property all right so let's start with this activity all right children so the first one which is given in the column a is gravel gravel is a type of soil which kind of soil or which type of soil just try to match the correct answer from the column b is it fine powder or does it consist of tiny stones or is it heavy and sticky or is it very fertile yes children yes children you can do this you can answer this yes gravel consists of tiny stones very good now the next one 
top soil so what will be the correct match for this top soil yes children you have to match the correct answer with the top soil from the given option a c and d yes children yes very good top soil is very fertile now the third one is sand what is it yes children you can answer this now it has become very simple yes sand is a fine powder very good and the last one is clay so which last one has been remained in the column b yes the correct match will be heavy and sticky so clay is very heavy and sticky when it is wet right so i hope you are clear with this activity also so i hope that you enjoyed all the activities and learned many many things about soil all right children so we will meet in the next quiz session till then keep learning keep thinking